Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we have got some some pretty massive developments surrounding Halo Infinite and Halo. And we're gonna talk about what my thoughts are, what's gonna happen, what what I think this means for Halo Infinite and for Halo uh, in general. I have some conspiracy tinfoil hat theories that you're definitely gonna wanna hear. And of course, I would like to hear your theories, your comments down below in the comment section. I read all the comments and I actually try to respond to pretty much all of them unless you're like being mean to me or to somebody else in the comments. I don't really mess around with that. Also, if you enjoy Halo content, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. All you have to do is subscribe. We're grinding way towards 15,000 subscribers on this channel. I think that would be a huge achievement, especially kind of right now with the downtime that Halo has, but it might be ramping up pretty soon. All right, let's get into the video. So one of the best follows if you enjoy Halo on Twitter is Serasia. Make sure you check out his account. He's fantastic. I love that guy. But the tweet we're going to be talking about today is uh, one that he said, my balls itch. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. It's about a new weapon coming to Halo Infinite. Now you might be saying, you know, we've seen the, the double barrel shotgun and you know, all these other things and the Falcon's not coming, blah, 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 blah. And it looks like, I mean, you can never say anything's 100% confirmed unless, uh, you know, 343 says it and even then things are subject to change. But it looks like a weapon that, as far as I know, has never been in a first person Halo game, shooter game. And that is the MA5K Avenger, or as I like to call it, the Mask. It's listed under the SMG class. So I have some thoughts and theories as to why that is. But you can see this um, this weapon in a lot of concept art with, uh, you know, Spartan 3s or even the SPI armor. And I think this is maybe going to replace the AR in matchmaking, especially the AR in, like, ranked playlists. The AR has a headshot modifier. I think that's stupid. So hopefully this one does not have that. But uh, I feel like this could be a good balance for those more competitive game modes you might be saying why are we getting this why is this happening well we do know that there's two operations still coming the anniversary for halo 2 is coming we're supposedly going to get a new armor kit styled around halo 2 i hope it's not a kit i hope it's a core because i want to be able to change the helmet because i think uh, kits are kind of dumb but with us getting a new weapon and like it being pretty much out of nowhere it seemingly being like we we think that halo infinite has been sunset and it's done but it feels like we're getting you know like if you look at all these little content updates like we're getting massive quality of life things it's very strange to me but if you noticed at gamescom which happened last week or this week last week this week whatever i don't know what day it is You'll notice how uh, Phil Spencer talks a lot about how, um, you know, their game plan has kind of changed on bringing games to, you know, the Sony platform. And they talk about um, Indiana Jones and stuff like that, Starfield, things of that nature. But a follow that I have on Twitter named Destin, who is somebody that I respect and I trust. I think he's a good uh, journalist. He said, if you asked me six months ago if I thought we'd see all Xbox games on PS5 or Switch, I would have said you're crazy today. Yeah, they're going full slate. Probably not tomorrow, but it seems inevitable. So if, 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 if Halo Infinite or even Halo MCC comes to the PlayStation platform, I, I that doesn't seem very dead to me. That seems like a, a tactic to revitalize the, the, you know, player count to get more players uh, with Halo in front of their eyes kind of feels like that's why we're getting all these updates and stuff like that. Hopefully we get more dev made maps. But there's so much, you know, firefight, so many things have been added to the game, quality of life stuff, cross core, uh, the coatings and everything. I would just be surprised at this. I would be genuinely surprised if Halo does not end up on the PlayStation platform. Just going off of what Phil Spencer's saying, going off of, um, you know, like the actions of Xbox and Microsoft. It just feels like we're in a different time and age and like selling consoles isn't as important as selling your IP. I feel like there's more money to be made on, you know, microtransactions and stuff like that. So why wouldn't you have your your IPs on as many platforms as possible to sell stuff like that? You know, at this rate with 343 hiring people, you know, they're working on other Halo projects. There's a certain affinity stuff. Like, I don't think that... Um, 
like we we might get the falcon like i would be now i would be more surprised now if we don't get more new stuff because this is like setting a precedent we, we haven't had a new weapon since the bandit it's just all signs point to the game not being dead so i have high hopes i have high hopes for it that's gonna do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you all around the ring Peace.